Greetings and welcome to Minute with Mark. It's kind of been like a month or so without Mark. I've been a little lazy on this. But today we're going to talk about the heart and how it's guiding the whole show. It's a little wily and it was an insight that I had this morning about how I thought I would have to give up. Literally, I tied success if I was going to have success with sacrificing tea with grandma. Now, here we go. One minute. Unlikely that I'll get this done in a minute, and it's unlikely that I'll be able to go deep enough to make this content meaningful, but I'm going for it anyway. So here's the deal. You can purchase all the success material you want. You can desire, you know, the bigger life, the better life, the more productive life, um, all you want. You can attend all the conferences. You can do, uh, you can associate yourself with all the right people, the escalating upwardly social people, all sorts of things. You can do all those things. And yet for a lot of people in the midst of doing that, um, actually breaking through is elusive. It's like a unicorn. It just, it's like a myth, right? It's like a fantasy. It's like a fairy tale. So here's where the heart comes in. If you have literally anything near your heart, anything at all that is precious to you, that you think you lose by going for what your heart ironically also wants. If you think you're going to lose it in pursuit of what you want, you will throttle back and there's an internal governor that's going to sabotage you to keep you so that you don't lose that which is dear to your heart. For instance, with me in the early days, I honest to God thought if I was going to go for, you know, my potential and really chase after it a little bit, that I was going to have to give up my afternoon tea with my grandma. I really thought that. I also thought, because if I get into it, if I really go for it, if I go for everything I got, I'm going to have to give up movies. And I liked going to movies. I also thought at the deepest core of me, if I was to be really candid and honest, that if I was to chase after my potential, develop my skills, contribute at the whole highest level that I could contribute that I would I would somehow lose God because I wouldn't think I needed him anymore I thought I'd lose my friends I thought I'd lose the dearest things close to my heart now it's getting a little personal it's getting a little intense but here's what I want you to play with and this is really like deep work to go into what I want you to play with is the thing that you think you'll lose uh, you might think you're going to lose, oh man, it, it, this is such a deep, it's such a rabbit hole, but let me close on this. Whatever you fear about achieving, like if you achieve, you'll become a new person and then you won't relate to people back at Thanksgiving or you won't, you'll lose your relationships with your family or you'll lose, <sighs> there's just this, this rabbit hole never ceases and now I'm rambling. But here's what I want you to do. Play with the thing that you think you're going to lose if you really go for it. Some of you think you're going to lose sleep. Well, I love sleep and I kind of like taking it easy. I'm going to lose golf. Well, if you achieve at some kind of like above average level, which doesn't take as much as you think it does, because most of the world is so freaking lazy that getting ahead is like just taking a step forward. Most people aren't even taking a step forward. They're just kind of like crawling and just kind of like stepping backwards and they're living in their fears and they're moving back. So to get ahead is just so desperately easier than you think it is. But anyway, whatever you think you might lose in pursuit of everything you want, I want you to just toy with it. Just kind of like pull it out of your heart and look at it and question it and say to yourself, is there other people in, in my world or in my sphere of influence that actually have that exact same thing that I think I'm going to lose in pursuit of what I want? For instance, I sleep more. I have no sleep debt whatsoever, ever, 
because I sleep through any kind of sleep debt that I might ac accumulate from the night before. I sleep through it. I have got my sleep back because I was successful. When I wasn't successful, I was waking up early. I was tired. I was exhausted. I've lost that now. It's gone. I thought I was going to get more exhausted. I thought I was going to lose more sleep. I thought I was going to lose my health under stress. I thought if I made money, I was going to lose it all in taxes because I was so ignorant of the tax code. I feared getting successful because I wouldn't know how to pay taxes, which it's just a book and a consultant away from the answer. Wow. Is this really going on? All right, I'm done. Much love. Let's rock it.